Hey everybody, wow, we're at Thursday, the 23rd of May. We are about to be in June. And uh, where did the time go, guys? Hey, Carrie Pope, how you doing? Welcome, I'm sitting on the side here waiting on a client to land. And I want to share this thought with you today that letting go is not as easy as you think. All right, so give time for the audience to build. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for supporting uh, what we're doing here. Thank you for your prayers. Super excited about teaching on the thoughts and thinking. And today I'm gonna shed some light on um, why we struggle to let go of things, why we struggle to move on in life, why we struggle with thinking. And when I share this with you guys, it's scary. It's really scary. Um, when I began to do my studies and you know, I've been studying on the mind for years and I told you God has called me to minister to the minds of men and to focus on how we think and as the word of God says as a man thinketh so is he but what does that really mean as a man thinketh so is he it's just cut it's just black and white as a man thinketh comma so is he so as I began studying years ago and I remember this in one of my classes on thought um, we average 60,000 thoughts a day studies have shown that we average 60,000 six zero thousand sixty thousand thoughts a day studies show that we average 6.5 thoughts per minute 6.5 thoughts per minute averaging 60,000 thoughts a day of which 90% of what we think is repetitive. And, you ready for this? 75% of what we think is negative. So let's ponder that. Let's ponder that thought. If I'm thinking 70, uh, uh, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm thinking 60,000 thoughts per day, of which 80% or 90% are repetitive, and 75% is negative, then we can truly understand why letting go is not easy. Letting it go, releasing it, saying I'm done with it. Because we're always pondering on the very thought of, should I let it go? Did I give it all I had? Did I, did I, did, did, did they treat me fairly in this job? Did I get the best out of this? We're always pondering and repeating it over and over. 6.5 thoughts per minute. I want you to really just, Phantom these numbers real quick because what's happening is we're not able to let go of something because it's repetitive Habits are formed through repetitive thinking Okay, so if I'm averaging 60,000 thoughts a day of which 90% of those thoughts are repetitive and 75% of the repetitive thoughts are negative then you can understand why it's hard to break habits, why it's hard to let go of things, why it's hard to move forward. And watch this, and why you got to do the work to think properly. If we are what we think, as a man thinketh, so is he. And my thoughts are 60,000 thoughts of 75% negativity then no wonder our lives are jacked up. No wonder we're struggling to lose weight because we look in the mirror and say, I'm fat. We look in the mirror and say, I'm ugly. We look at our situation and say, I'll be uh, single my entire life. And you start repetitively thinking this. And as a man thinketh, he begins to create his very demise. Do you not know that we have a tendency through generational curse of thinking We've been, we, we, some of our generational curse is our thought process, how we uh, have been taught to think. Yeah, you can quote scriptures all day long, but thank you, say, thank you, Patricia, but the facts are this, 75% of what you think is negative, which means 25% of what you think is to the positive. So which one you think is winning? Why do you think so many people are, are struggling to have a great life? Because you're constantly thinking about what's wrong with your life. You're constantly repetitively thinking about what, you're, what you messed up on. Or you can't let go of your past. If you're going to move forward, you've got to reprogram how you think. And you got to flip that thing to 75% positive, 
25% negative because that's what's going to shift you and change. The scales are imbalanced right now. And the reason why we are struggling to let go is because our thoughts are negative. The way we look at life is negative. And you can quote scriptures all day and say the Bible says, but if you're thinking negative, if you're quoting positively, but thinking negative, negatively, then what you think you're going to get? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. If my heart is negative, my mouth will speak negative. And as I think negative, I am going to become negative. Are you getting this today? So, how, Kira, how do we fix this? Take charge of your thoughts, which means if you're having 60,000 thoughts per day, you got to become more aware of what you're thinking about. Get your pen and pad. Write down what you're thinking about. Every hour, just take five minutes and write down what you're thinking about. Just write it down. Don't try to make it sound good. Don't try to fix it up. Just write down whatever you're thinking about. I'm thinking about going on a diet. I'm thinking about I need to go to the gym. I'm thinking about I can't get in my pants anymore. I'm thinking about my suit's too tight. I'm thinking about that meal that I got to eat tonight. I'm thinking about I can't have any carbs. I got to eat all protein and I got to, I'm thinking, see, you, you, if you start writing it down, you'll start to see that the very thing you're thinking about is what you are. Then here comes the struggle to release what you are because again, 75% of what you're thinking is negative. So if you want to see your life change, number one, you must take control of your thoughts starting today. No longer have an idle mind. We've always heard an idle mind is the devil's workshop. An idle mind means you're letting your thoughts run freely and you're not bringing them under subjection. The Bible says cast out every vain imagination that, that exalts itself against the knowledge. The knowledge of God. God's knowledge is this. As a man thinks, so is he. So I got to cast down vain imaginations. And the imaginations are formed in my thinking. And my thinking, if it goes unchecked, is going to be 75% negative. Are you getting this? So again, we can know scripture. We can quote scripture. We can say the Bible says all day long. But applying the principle comes with thinking and properly dividing the word that you're able to apply the word with positive thoughts. Just saying something doesn't make it happen. And watch this, you can go to the gym, you can push back your plate, you can do all these things to lose weight, but if your mind is still focused on, I'm not gonna be skinny, I'm never gonna be a size eight, then you, guess what? As a man thinketh, so is he. You'll never be a size eight. You will always be what you are, struggling to get to it. I hope you hear me this morning, this afternoon. And this applies to any concept, not just what I'm using in weight, but any concept you have in life. 60,000 thoughts we have a day, 6.5 thoughts per minute, 90% are repetitive. And of that repetitiveness, 75% of it is negative. And now we understand why letting go is not as easy as we think. All right, guys, not going to be here long. Again, get ready for some of these classes with master classes we're going to be having on the foundational of thinking and the proper concepts of thinking. But I want you to play this video over and over and over and over. Do the exercise. Get your pen and pad. And every hour, just for five minutes, write down what you've been thinking about. Take If, if, you, put, if you have 6.5 thoughts per minute, then take one minute and just write down what you're thinking about. Don't fix it up again. Just write it. And then we got to start flipping this thing. We got to start taking control of our thoughts so that we can let go. Because if you're going to create new habits, you got to deal with the old. And, and dealing with the old means you have to do something. I think they said if you do something 30 days consecutively, you form a new habit. 28 days to 30 days consecutively, you form a new habit. But that means repetition, repetition, repetitiveness, our thinking, repetitive thoughts. If they're negative, we're in trouble. What's up, son? Good to see you today. KB's in the house. And so I challenge you. Take control of what you're thinking about. Take control of your life. Don't let your mind just be free out here running wild. Take control. Because 6.5 thoughts go through your head every minute. And guys, 60,000 thoughts a day is a lot. 
do the math and see how many thoughts you have in a week's time. And maybe then we can understand why we're stuck and we can't move forward. God bless you. Share this video. Love you much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.